This is the iPad Photo. Pretty cutting edge technology, huh? Well, today I'm telling you it's still pretty cool to have in 2022, 18 years after its release. The screen was its main feature, in fact it was the first iPad to have a color display. You can view your pictures and that's quite useless. The screen in fact might just be the only thing I don't like about this iPad. Comparing it to a monochrome screen, it looks surprisingly worse in sunlight and consumes much more power. The battery lasts 15 hours of music playback, but the cool thing is that this is the easiest iPad to work on. I'd bet I can replace the battery in under 5 minutes. Oh, and it lasts 5 hours of photo slideshows if you're into that. The audio quality is just superb. It's got a wolf sound deck, which if you don't know, it's what actually converts your song file into actual sound. The music sounds quite a bit spacier and harmonic even to non-audiophile ears. If your iPod ever decides to break or a whoopsie happens, it's just so easy to do repairs and upgrades. Thanks to Elite Obsolete, you can pretty much replace every single part of this iPod, or if somehow you fill up your hard drive, you can replace it with a 256GB SSD. The link for this awesome website is in the description. Finally, if you decided to buy this awesome iPod, you can go in two directions. Getting a working unit on eBay for $40, pretty good deal, or get one with a broken hard drive and then upgrade it with an SSD. It would be more expensive, but you'd get more storage and much better durability. You can also consider getting a 4th gen iPod with a monochrome screen, but the price is about the same so it's a matter of preference. So this is it for this overview, make sure to give a like and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day!